Simple harmonic motion of a floating object. An object with height h, mass capital M, and uniform cross-sectional area A floats upright in a liquid with density rho. Part A calculates the vertical distance from the surface of the liquid to the bottom of the floating object at equilibrium. Part B, a downward force with magnitude F is applied to the top of the object. At the new equilibrium position, how much farther below the surface of the liquid is the bottom of the object than it was in part A? Assume that some of the object remains above the surface of the liquid. Part C, your result in part B shows that if the force is suddenly removed, the object will oscillate up and down in simple harmonic motion. Calculate the period of this motion in terms of the density rho of the liquid, the mass capital M and the cross-sectional area A of the object. You can ignore the damping due to fluid friction. So we have a floating object, uniform cross-sectional area A, mass capital M in a liquid with density rho and we have a distance delta y from the surface of the liquid to the bottom of the object. So if I draw a free body diagram for this object, I see two forces, the weight of the object mg that's pulling it down, capital MG, and there will be the buoyant force uh, due to the liquid pointing up. So this B buoyant force is equal to the weight of the liquid displaced by the object. Weight of the liquid uh, displaced Now, <clears throat> the buoyant force B is equal to the density of the liquid multiplied by G and volume displaced. And the density of the object, on the other hand, will be its total mass, capital M, divided by its volume, cross-sectional area A, times the height of the object h. So the buoyant force we find to be rho g area times delta y because that will be the volume uh, that is underneath, uh, that's the volume of the object underneath the surface of the liquid that is displaced by this object. So it's the volume a delta y multiplied by density, that's the mass of the fluid displaced, multiplied by g, that's the weight of the liquid displaced. So if we write the net force on the y-axis, net force on the y-axis, that is equal to uh, rho g a delta y minus the weight mg equals to zero because the object floats in equilibrium we find that delta y the distance from the bottom of, of the object to the top of the top surface of the uh, liquid will be because the g's will cancel here uh, capital m divided by density of the liquid multiplied by the cross-sectional area A. Now, let's move on to part B. We have a modified free body diagram now because we have applied a force that is going to push it down. So we have a new force uh, acting on this object that is F. So total force pointing down is the weight mg plus f. And as a result, we will have a modified buoyant force B prime pointing in the upward direction. Now the net force 
on the y-axis will be zero we set up equilibrium again and the modified buoyant force will be rho g a times the modified uh, height inside the liquid delta y prime so uh, the buoyant force b prime minus the weight mg minus the new force f we're applying should be equal to zero so we find that the modified uh, depth of the object inside the fluid will be mg plus f divided by rho g a so this will be the new distance from the bottom of the object to the surface of the liquid now we remove this force when we remove this force we have the equilibrium uh, depth inside the uh, liquid equal to m divided by rho a that is the answer uh, to part a of the problem and we have the modified depth delta y prime minus the equilibrium depth delta y equilibrium we have mg plus f over rho g a uh, minus mg over rho g a that is f over rho g a so this will be f divided by rho g a so uh, we can see that if we call this uh, distance delta y prime minus delta y equilibrium y this force f is equal to rho g a times y which is the additional displacement from the equilibrium due to the application of this force f now uh, we can see that this force is in the minus j hat direction so minus f is equal to m y double dot and mass times acceleration and that force is equal to minus rho g a times y the displacement from equilibrium is equal to mass times y double dot so we can see that y double dot is equal to minus rho g a divided by the mass m times y so this is in the form of simple harmonic motion so the question was in part c uh, the period of this motion in terms of density rho mass m and uh, uh, area a so we can see that this is in the form x double dot is equal to minus omega square x simple harmonic motion so we can recognize the angular frequency omega to be rho g a divided by m so rho g a divided by m square root and that is 2 pi divided by the period of the oscillation and therefore the period will be 2 pi m divided by rho g a square root so this will be the period of the simple harmonic motion when the force f is suddenly removed okay so let's summarize we have an object that is floating in a liquid with density rho the object has mass m height h cross-sectional area a therefore volume h a so first i want to know the vertical distance from the surface of the liquid to the bottom of the floating object at equilibrium that distance i called delta y the buoyant force the object feels is weight of the liquid displaced which is the volume of the liquid displaced delta y times a uh, multiplied with its density rho which is the mass of the liquid displaced multiplied by g is the weight of the liquid displaced rho g a delta y is pointing up balancing mg the weight of the object so delta y is 
m divided by rho a. And if I apply an additional force f from the top, the buoyant force will be modified. I will have a new equilibrium distance from the bottom of the object to the surface of the liquid, the rho g a delta y prime. And this will be balancing mg plus f. So I find that the new equilibrium distance will be mg plus f over rho g a. Now, the displacement from the equilibrium uh, depth, delta y equilibrium, will be the difference between this and this, delta y prime minus delta y, which is f over rho g a. So this displacement from the equilibrium position I call y. So uh, as a result of removing this force f, which was acting uh, down, so minus f is equal to m y double dot, uh, there will be an acceleration y double dot. So since f is proportional to y, minus rho g a y is m y double dot, that's simple harmonic motion. Omega is square root rho g a over m, and period is 2 pi uh, di divided by omega, which is square root m over rho g a.